Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 3rd of October 2025. And if you're wondering what this is, of course, it's the sound of chimpanzees and uh, a small tribute to uh, Jane Goodall, who has unfortunately left us and uh, she made it to the age of 91 and uh, was probably one of the few people who could have described what those sounds of chimpanzees meant. Uh, an extraordinary scientist who pop who actually became came very popular which is a good thing you know um i when scientists real scientists not internet frauds uh become famous uh, for their work who are really good at what they do um and uh move the research forward uh, that's always a good thing um, and allows the general public to get a bit more insight into uh, what their particular field is and of course jane goodall very famous for her studies on chimpanzees uh, in Africa. Um, so uh, goodbye to her. Okay, right, so we're going to play a game of Sudoku. Uh, I've got an extra game, extra day in here because uh, today I'm going to be playing a, a game or two. Uh, I have, it appears, I think I have a free morning. That's about it though. The afternoon probably busy again, so, but I will try and get in a couple of games if I can today. Uh, this is the Guardian's hard level puzzle for a Friday. I do have to quickly apologize for last week, the last video that I made last week. Apparently the microphone, now that I have a new iPhone, it had uh, the, the, the Mac software decided it was going to mess up my microphone settings because uh, it gave me some option of using the phone as a microphone, which I didn't want to do. Um, and uh, it went a bit crazy there, so chose the wrong settings, but I'm back, hopefully back on my original microphone now. So you should be able to hear me, and I hopefully should not sound too much like a chimpanzee. If I do, that's just, ooh, 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's just uh, uh, your fault, not my fault. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Um, I'm going to start with digit seven, um, blocking across here and across there, and giving me a seven there. And I've got seven blocking down here and across there, which is going to put seven into that square there. Hope you've been well the past week. Uh, hopefully I'll get some games in this weekend. Six up here. Um, don't have too much to do this weekend, I think. Some things, but not, not too much. Four blocking here and there, so that should give me enough space for a four in this column. Uh, what we're we looking at, um, three, nine, five here. Three, nine, five, three. Okay, not sure about that. Okay, what's missing in these squares up here? Nine is one one of the things missing, right? We've got nine blocking there, so let's put that nine up there and let's work out what else is missing in this column. It looks like a two, so let's have our two there. Three blocks across the top row, that gives us three in that square. Missing digits here are one and eight. I'm feeling rusty again on my Sudoku uh, play. We've got one and eight from there, in there I should say. whizzing around looking to see what can be done three up here three blocking down there that gives us three in that square three also blocking down here and across there so that's a three Uh, 
Okay, not sure where to go next. Let's click on the digits in order to see what else we can find. One and four both block this square, but we are lacking one and four in this column, so one and four must be there. And the last digit for this column will be a two. We now know that this is one and four, so we can work out what goes th in these squares. Uh, that's going to not be one or four, it's two and five. So we've got the five blocking across there. There's the five and there's the two. And now two blocking up here and across there. That'll give me two in that square. Now missing numbers in this row, I believe, are one, two, six, five, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I got that right. So one, two, five, six. Let me just double check with that. Uh, no one, no two, no five, no six, and one, two, five, six, four numbers missing. Yeah. So two, five, and six block this square here. So that's going to be a one. And then we've got two and five blocking this square. So that's going to be a six. Missing numbers here, four and nine, I think. So four blocks across here, four blocks up here and across there means that that will be a four. And I can work out this, can't I? Because I know this is one and eight. So this has to be a nine. Now we have nine blocking all the way to the bottom here. Now notice the nine blocking across here. That means nine is either in this square or this square. So that can't be a nine. So in the bottom, neither of these two squares can be a nine. That leaves us with a nine here. So nine blocking up there. There's our nine, there's our four. Four blocking down here and across there means that's a four. And there's just one digit left in this column. As soon as I work out what it is, I'll tell you it's an eight. Okay, and then the missing digit here, five, I think five blocks across here there's our five and the missing number here uh, nine okay the chair is squeaking a little bit excuse my chair uh, okay what have we got up here nine is that going to give us anything down here that gives us nines in yes okay so we've got nine blocking down here nine across here and nine across here but because of our nine blocking here as I mentioned before, 9 is in one of those squares. That can't be 9. That has to be a 9. Uh, what else do we have? Anything else? No, the 4s. That's not good, is it? 7s, no. Uh, so let's look in this middle section here. Uh, maybe we'll just wander around again. We don't have any completed digits yet. But I'm, I'm guessing that one of these is going to be an easy number to find. Could be wrong. definitely be wrong but we've got four and nine blocking down here we've got four and nine across here so we can say that those two squares are four and nine and now up here we had one and eight if you remember so we know that that is one or eight and we also know that this can't be one or eight um, does that help us shall we see what it can be well it can't be one or eight all right and it can't be two, three, four. Uh, it could be a five. Ah, oh, it could also be a six. That's no good. It could be a five or a six. Um, so that's not going to do it, is it? All right. So one eight, one eight, one eight. This looks like a five or a six there. Ah, 
Ah, oh, look at this. We've got five, six up here, five, six across there. So that's a pair of five and six, in fact. Okay, that's five and six. And I've forgotten what I said now. What, what was this? That was four and nine. So five, six here. Oh, we've got the five. There it is five blocking there. There's the five. There's the six. Almost didn't see it. Okay, and so then we'll have our one eight in those squares like that. Okay. Right, let's check out the six now. Six blocking across here and blocking across there and a six down here. That gives us a six in that square. Six down here, across there and across there should be enough to finish the game. There's only one number left for this row. Uh, that is a three. Let's put that three in. Let's take that three up and see where it leads us. Three's blocking across there like so. There's a three and three to the top like that. There's our three. One blocks this square. So in this column, there's our one. The last number for the column is eight. Uh, eight blocks across here. That gives us an eight in that square there. And 8 across this way and that way gives us 8 there. And 8 blocking up gives us 8 in that square. 1 in that square, as I mentioned before. 1 blocking down. There's our 1. 1 across there. There's a 1. This is a 4. 4 blocks across here. There's a 4. There's the 9. 9 blocks down here. There's a 9. Last number for the row is 7. Or the block, whichever way you want to look at it. 7 blocks down here. Across there. There's a 7. The last number to fit here is... I don't know, two, I think. Okay, and two blocking up there and across there. There's a two. One more number for the row. Five, are you? I think you are. Five blocking to the bottom. There's a five. This is a one. One up. There's our one. Missing digit there. Eight. Oh, I thought there were more to go. Apparently not. Okay, that's it. Uh, I will try and get in at least one more game today uh, if I am able. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, if not, I will definitely see you over the weekend for at least some Sudoku fun. Take care. Bye-bye.